Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to use the backpack in Scratch. The backpack is a useful tool to move sprites, scripts, costumes, and more to completely different projects. Here's an example. Scratch Cat, who you totally never delete, wants to have a good movement script, but Scratch Cat can't code good movement scripts due to his lack of fingers. So here's what Scratch Cat does. He finds a good movement script, puts it in his backpack, goes back into the project, opens the backpack, and pulls the script in to the sprite and bam we have movement. I can move right to left. Always remember to credit the person who made the scripts if you use their scripts. But before we get into the episode, don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more Scratch tutorials. And also drop a comment down below. But anyway, let's get coding or backpacking. Okay, so let's start with the basics. First of all, the backpack is right down here. And if we click on this, it'll open up. And right now my backpack is empty because I don't have anything in it. Wow. So like I said earlier, the backpack can hold tons of different things. It can hold scripts and sounds and costumes. So here's how to use it. Say we want to get this Sprite, my cat, into this backpack. All we need to do is click and hold. So now we're kind of dragging around the sprite and now just plop it over here and you can see that the backpack turns blue. And now if we let go, it will say loading and now we have our sprite in there. So that's how you get a sprite into the backpack. And here's how to get it out. So I am in a totally separate project now. If I click on my backpack, you can see that this sprite is in there. All I need to do is pull this into this sprite area and you can see that now look at that. I have a brand new scratch cat and it has the same name it has all the code all of the costumes it has everything in there. So putting a sprite in the backpack will copy every single thing in that sprite. The scripts, costumes, sounds, as you can see here's a meow. But let's say you didn't want to do the whole sprite, you just wanted to transport a specific costume. It basically works the same. So all you need to do is open up your costumes and then open your backpack. And now you just need to pull costume you want. For instance, I'm going to pull this rainbow cat into the backpack. Right here it will say costume. Costume. Earlier I forgot to mention that but it said sprite so it kind of tells you what it is. Back into my other project if I go to costumes click on my backpack I can actually pull that costume rainbow cat into there and look at that now I have rainbow cat in my new project and that is really really cool and it works the exact same way for the sound. Let's go ahead and choose a random sound this bark will do and now if we open up our backpacks we can pull the bark into our backpack and it will say sound and as you would expect, if we go into the sound tab of a different project, we can pull that sound bark into there. So you can see how useful this can be. It is insanely useful to use other people's scripts, or if you have reoccurring characters in multiple games. One example would be getting the art for my games. As you can see here, I have this project. It's called Cat Clicker Art. And if you click see inside on it, you can see that it has all of the costumes and sprites. So all you need to do to use my art is pull that into your your backpack. So for instance, I just pulled the sprite accessory into my backpack. Back into my other project, I can just pull that sprite and now I have the accessory with all of these costumes that I made. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to hit the like button and squish the subscribe button. But anyway, this has been Owen and I am out.